This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This lab is now recently updated and because of that they have removed the form ID. Previously when we are starting the lab we are getting one unique form ID. With the help of that form ID it's easy to understand that which form ID solution we have to follow. But now it's our task to identify that form ID. Now if you are wondering how can we identify that which form ID solution we have to follow. So I have already made a solution there I explained that how can you identify your form ID. Okay if you watch this particular video after that you will understand that which form ID solution you need to follow. And if you just scroll down to the description box of this video you will get the solution for each and every form ID. Okay this solution is for the form ID 3. Okay so what you do in the description box of this video I have shared the github link which will help you to automate some task over here. However I will recommend you to follow along and understand what each command does so you can learn the process effectively. I will encourage to open and review the script to understand each step. So first of all just me scroll down over here and from here just me open this link in incognito window over here. This will activate your cloud shell. So just me wait for that. And it's finally done. Now what you do, we have to run this curl command to download the file from the github repo to your cloud shell. Then we have to make that file executable. So for that we have to run this chmod command. And for running the command, we have to just simply run this command. So just me copy all this command, come back over here, paste, hit enter. Wait for a second and here you can see now it's asking for the region. For that, come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see region. So just me copy this, come back over here, paste, hit enter. Wait for a second and then just me click on this authorize. Now this command will take a couple of minutes. Meanwhile what you do, we have to perform the task number 4 manually. Yes, we have to complete the task number 4 using a console. Because if we try to complete this particular task using a command line then we won't get a score. But don't worry, this task is very easy. So first of all what you do, just me come back to the dashboard and here just me search for the tag template over here. Like this way. You can just me search for the tag or you can, you can see tag template. Just me click over here. Wait for a second now and it's done. Now just me click on this tag template over here like this way. Now for the tag template name just me scroll down and from here just me copy this name. Come back over here and paste like this way. Now for the location just me choose the region which mentioned on your lab instruction page. For me the given region is US East one so I am going to choose that. For you it might be different. So just me choose accordingly that. So it's done. Okay. Now just me scroll down over here and here you can see field. Just me click on this add field over here like this way. Now for the field name scroll down a little bit and from here you can see this name. So just me copy this name. Come back over here and paste like this way. Scroll down. Click on this type over here. Okay. Now I request to please pay attention. Okay. First of all as a type we have to choose enumerated. So just me choose that over here. Okay. Now for the value 1 just me copy this yes over here and paste over here like this way. You have to just me copy yes. Then again click on this add. Now for the value 2 just me copy this no and paste over here. That's it. And that is the thing that you have to do for the task number 4. Once you're done with all this configuration just me click on this done. And once it's done, then click on this create button over here. Now just me wait. And it's created. Okay. Now if you just me come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the task number 4, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated immediately, no need to worry. Now you have to just me wait until all this command get executed. So as you can see, all this command executed. Now if you just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for the remaining task, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated, just me wait. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys. Remember this video is for educational purpose. Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.